Hi, my name is Alyssa and today I will be explaining how to create a simple communication board using the program Boardmaker Plus. First, I'm going to open the program and click Open a new board. Next, using the, using the button tool, I'm going to click the upper left hand corner of the screen and drag my mouse to create a 2 inch by 2 inch box. You can see that how many inches your box is by looking at the rulers on the top and left hand side of your screen. Once I have my box, I'm going to click on the pointer tool icon, which functions as our home base of sorts. So to make multiple identical boxes like the one we already made, I'm going to click on the button sprayer tool. Then clicking on the box I already made, I'm going to drag my mouse across the screen until I have 8 boxes. Then I will let go of the mouse. Now that we've created our blank board, we need to add pictures and words. For this example, I'm going to create a board that a student using PEX Phase 3 would use in their art class. To add a picture, I need to make sure that I am back at our home base by clicking on the pointer tool icon. Next, I'm going to click on this first icon with the face, the symbol finder tool. A box should pop up in the right hand corner of your screen and the first box in the series will have a red outline. When I make my communication boards, especially for students using PEX Phase 3, I like to have the phrase I want as the first box on my board. So what I'm going to do is type the phrase I want in the symbol finder. I don't like this first picture, so I'm going to click on the arrows in the symbol finder until I find a picture that I like. This picture looks good, so now I'm going to simply click in my first box, which is highlighted in red, and the picture appears. As you can see, the highlighting moves over to the box, to the next box in the series. Now, just like we did with our first box, I'm going to type in the word paint in the symbol finder. I'm going to click through my options until I find a picture that I like. And then finally, I'll select the box. You will continue like this for the remainder of your boxes. Now I'll add the word blue. And now I'll add the word red. Here we have a problem. You can see that when I go to add the word red to my communication board, there are 28 results, which is way too many to click through. Luckily, there is a shortcut. These three boxes at the top of our symbol finder narrow or broaden our results. This first box makes the search letters appear at the beginning of the word. The middle button places the search letters anywhere in the resulting word. And the last option matches search it matches search letters with the whole world word results. So for this instance, selecting red, I'm going to click the, the third box matching to the whole world wor word. Red immediately comes up. When making a communication board, you always want to give the student the ability to express their needs. One such need would be the phrase, I need help. Another important word to always include in your communication boards is the word bathroom. Also, another thing to always keep in mind is that age-appropriate vocabulary and slang should be included in the communication board. For example, I want to add the phrase, that's cool. As you can see, there are no matches for this search, so I'm going to have to improvise. That's cool is basically saying the same thing as wow. So I'm going to type that into my symbol finder 
and as you can see there is a picture so I'm going to select it however this box now says the word wow which I don't think a kid would want to say I think they would be much more likely to say that's cool luckily there is a quick fix for that and I'm first going to click on the pointer tool icon next I'm going to click the giant letter A which is the text tool this will enable me to change the text on any of the boxes. When you've finished, oops, first, let's change the phrase wow to that's cool. When you're finished, be sure to click on the pointer tool icon, which is our home base, so you don't make any unintentional changes. One final important feature of this program is its ability to color code boxes. This is very important in districts that employ the use of the Fitzgerald key code. So, in, so to color code my boxes, I'm going to first select a box. Then I'm simply going to click on the color tool icon, which is this brightly colored box here. Then I'm going to select a color, click it, and it automatically changes the box. You would click on to the next one to change the next color and continue like that. So there you have it. You've now learned how to create a simple low tech communication board using the program Boardmaker Plus. Thank you for watching and have a great day.